This is the churchyard and the church of Holy Wood or Sacre Namore or De Conglin is the original name. The abbey that stood here was uh, probably built by De Vorgula. She was the daughter of Alan, Lord of Galloway. We're now talking of the 12th century. One of the dates is 1141. Her son was John Balliol, that most unfortunate of Scottish kings. We know that later, Archibald the Grim was called that because of his countenance when in battle, that he endowed a hospital here as well. And one of the old seals of the abbots of Holy Wood refers to a convent also being here. Now after the Reformation, after John Knox's upheaval of the church, all that was left of this building, once a substantial structure, was just one end used as the parish church. Now it's described by Francis Gross and by others. There's even though a small drawing of it, although a drawing done some years after it demolished. It was demolished in 1778 um, and the stone used in the construction of this new church. So not only was there um, a substantial building here at one time, but also there was a sepulchre beneath the surviving portion of the church. So a number of graves were present. There's even talk of John of Sacrobosto, sometimes called John of Holy Wood, who was a famous monk who wrote a treatise on astronomy, who also wrote an introduction to a book on Arabic numerals, and he's thought that he came from here, but he certainly wasn't buried here. The abbey that once stood here was Premonstratensian, known as the White Cannons, because the white cassocks that they wore. The origins of that order was in France. It is remarkable how little of such a substantial building survives today, meaning practically nothing. We know in 1912, some visitors to the manse were shown what looked like an Adam and Eve stone and a stone with uh, what appeared to be a dragon carved on it. There are also records of that dragon stone possibly being located at Potrac, which is nearby. Now we're not very far from Friars Cast, where Captain Robert Riddle lived at the time of Robert Burns. And he was a famous antiquarian and it's known they had a very large collection of, of carved stones of various dates. He even made his own artificial or fake stone circle. So it's possible that uh, some of the carved stones from here ended up in his collection. The seal of one of the abbots of, from Holy Wood in Latin refers to sacre Nemore, which means the sacred grove. And that may have links with the nearby Twelve Apostles stone circle, which dates back to about 3000 BC, the Bronze Age. So it may be that there was a, an oak wood here, because the name itself, De Congel, refers in, in Irish Gaelic to the oak grove, the oak wood of Connell, which might be Connell or even Conville. And that may link to churches such as Kirkconnell, which isn't far from here, and possibly also foundations at Sanka. So the sacred landscape here links with the Druids before, before in terms of uh, they were after the Stone Age, so any Nemeton, any open enclosures that they would have used for religious ceremonies were not linked to the Stone Circle but they could well have been linked to the pre-Celtic times, in terms of pre-Celtic church times, of an oak wood. Plenty of room for speculation.
Regarding the remnants of the old abbey, it is recorded that it was a pillar which was placed at the south end of the old church. Now it's just possible that this is not a gravestone that could be that pillar. We also know that the grave diggers would occasionally be able to point out places where upon digging graves they come across remnants of the foundations of the old abbey. And we know that in the bell tower there is either one or possibly two bells which date from the abbey itself. Certainly one is 16th century and refers to an abbot with the name Welch or Welsh. The Twelve Apostles Stone Circle is less than a mile from here. There's some very impressive tombs of the local landowners here, the Maxwells and the Johnsons and so on. There's also a war memorial located here.